This channel supports St. Jude's Research Hospital for Children and is a part of their Play Live Charity Drive. For more information on how to join as well as how to donate, please head to the description and click the link at the top of it. Remember, any and all support is appreciated, so feel free to give and support in any way you can. Thank you for your participation. What up everybody, this is your boy Black Megas and per usual, I give my thoughts on the Redskins game. Not doing the whole face camera shit this year because I don't feel like setting that shit up. I'm tired from work and looking busted anyway and looking more dejected than normal. I'm sure you guys are used to seeing that fucking dejected face though because the Redskins lost. Not something new. Not something that you haven't heard. Um. Okay, so... Started the game. Started out the game okay. Um, I mean, I guess they did. Uh, here's the fucking thing. Good God, why do you shoot yourselves in the foot? The false starts. The like penalties. Stop it! Stop it! You caused a turnover early. You got two field goals. But you still weren't getting pressure on Ben. You were getting stupid penalties. And eventually, Ben, he got in this groove and he torched you. Now, would he have torched us any worse if we actually did something to try to help out Breland? Maybe not, because I don't know what was going on. Like, I like Rashawn Breland, you know. Nice young cornerback. Quarter, He's, he's growing. Um, you know, he generally can hold his own. But he's not necessarily a number one corner right now. Um, he may never be a number one corner. He may just be a really solid, like, number two that can cover um, his assignment very, very well while your number one corner takes out the team's number one receiver. We didn't have that tonight because, as said previously by most of the experts Josh Norman wasn't moving anywhere he wasn't going anywhere he generally lines up on the left side of the defense which is the right side of the offense Antonio Brown however generally lines up on the left side of the offense which is the right side of the defense thereby having him match up with Rashad Breeland all all night long and Rashad Breeland got waxed um I felt for the kid because it wasn't that he was just getting beat on his own. But when they started seeing him getting beat, I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but I felt like they didn't put any help really for him. I didn't see them try to take, you know, a safety and make sure that he got extra cover so he wouldn't get beat on because he was getting beat on tackles. Um, things like that. I, maybe I was missing something. I just didn't feel like they tried to help him at all, um, really. I, I don't know. I don't know. Meanwhile, Josh Norman, who is the highest paid corner in the league, um, I guess he had a good game because you didn't hear them talk much about him. The one play that they really talked about him it was a really good play. He knocked the ball out of Antonio Brown's hand. Questionable call. Could have been called a fumble. But they called it an incomplete. That was pretty much his highlight. Other than that, he really wasn't involved in much of anything. Um, had a couple of tackles. Uh, so I guess you got what you paid for because he didn't get his number called. So clearly nobody really beat him or they weren't really going after him. I don't think it was out of fear though. I think it was out of the fact that they didn't need to go after him or test him because he was never really involved in the play. You know what I mean? So teams are probably going to try to take advantage of that whole thing where they know that he's not going to line up on the right side of the defense. Thereby, you could move your receiver because the talk is he's not as comfortable anywhere else but the left side. And according to John Gruden, hey, it's not as easy as it looks to move around the field as a, uh, as a secondary player. Um, mind you, 
I've seen Breeland move all around the field. I've seen other corners move all around the field. Um, other elite corners have been able to do it. Um, it's funny because somebody tweeted me. He was like, well, I saw Mathau, um for Arizona move from safety to corner and back a couple of times. Didn't bother him. You know, it, it's like, <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I'm trying to not, like, go all in because it's the first game. And, you know, things happen. Shaky, jitters, all that. Um, Cousins had a so-so night, uh, made two mistakes. Um, the second interception was kind of just, like, ending the game, forcing shit. Uh, but the first one was a force, too, and it was a bad pass. Um, very bad pass. Uh. Very, very bad pass. So, I, uh, hey, it is what it is. Um, definitely going to have to make some adjustments. Going to have to get the run game loose. Going to have to get a pass rush, people. That's going to be our biggest Achilles heel. For all the money we spent on secondary and all of this, like, hype they're getting. We don't have a pass rush, so with no pass rush and a corner who will only play one side but gets paid like he's um Darrell Revis or Charles Woodson um leaving everybody else you know in a situation where they're gonna have to take up the top assignments that normally the top corner get I'm sorry I just had to say that because it's really really irking me that this guy has to do his side and has to do his zone thing <sighs> He's getting paid a lot of money. But, again, first game. Game plans can change. Things can adjust. I'm not going to try to go too deep in. I'm just... I, that, that was just really irritating me all night long for some reason. I don't know why. Um, but, hey. It is what it is. Um, Steelers definitely showed that they were the better team. Congrats to them. Hey, I've always admired the Steelers, thought they've always been a top organization. I wish my organization could be run like them because they are one of the models of consistency and we aren't. <laughs> so, yeah, um, whatever. Whatever. Uh, we'll see next game. Um, rivalry game next week. That should be fun should be really fun anyway as always you guys hit me up let me know what you think and i'll haunt you later this is your boy black makers and i'm out deuces